Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sarah and I don't post unboxing videos that often because I love to save my money and only spend it when necessary or when I have reached a saving goal and I buy something. So that is what's happening today. So I purchased a MacBook Air on the weekend and it was the 13 inch 128 gigabytes the reason I purchased this MacBook was one I need it for school next year and two it was on sale so I believe the original price was like $1800 and it's now reduced to $1200 and also my parents and I split the payment so I pay for half and my parents pay for half so I didn't pay for the whole thing but I did pay for half of it just a disclaimer before we get onto this video I am not trying to buy, brag in any way shape or form I am just sharing you with you guys my excitement of getting my first MacBook and also I have already unboxed this I've actually already set the laptop up and that was just because I wanted to do it and I was just too excited but I will unbox it for you guys anyway. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just the box with the MacBook on it. And then obviously this is MacBook Air, the logo, and some information on the back. And then when you open it up inside, obviously you have, you have the MacBook itself. And if I can get this out, because I just realized I put it in there and... Um, yeah, the tag's not in there. Normally there's like a tag for you to pull it out, but I didn't do that because I'm just so smart. So here is the laptop. It is so pretty in my opinion, and I'll put a photo of the hardcover I got for it as well as the case I'm getting for it. Um, the hardcover is coming and the actual case I haven't bought yet, but I will be buying it soon. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It is super duper cute. I absolutely love it. I've been waiting for a macbook forever and then that's what it looks like inside the box so here where all the gaps are was the charger so it came separate like this and this so obviously it goes obviously you connect it in like that and it makes the charger um but the thing i love about this actually is on it if you're looking to get a macbook air i highly recommend the macbook air 13 inch because it is small and it is light um i haven't really gone into it like i haven't really used it a lot but from what i can tell so far i'm really happy with it i have no complaints but it does take a while if you haven't used a macbook before it does take a while to get used to it um but I've almost gotten used to it basically. But on this charging area, the cable, if you're going places and you don't want the cable to get tangled, there's these little clips that come out like this and you just wrap the cable around. And I thought it was so cool because when I go on holidays or I'm going in the car or something, it's not gonna get tangled because I can just wrap it up like that and it's gonna be fine. The last thing in this box is just this little car thing and I'm pretty sure inside is just instructions on how to use it. Which, yeah, there's just instructions like welcome to MacBook and so on and so forth. So moving on to the laptop itself, this is what it looks like. And on the side, it's just got, it's basically how to, how I would describe it is it's gone from a thick, like a MacBook Pro to a thinner, more like a um, iPad sort of style. And on this side, you have the charging cable, the like the USB port and the headphone jack. And over here, you can insert like your camera, SD card, that's it. And then another USB port and then... I have no idea what that is so <laughs> great review okay so when you open the laptop there is a little indent for you to open the laptop in and so you just basically open it like that and then 
automatically mine opens to the lock screen and I'll just put my password in and then it automatically goes onto my lock screen. So this is my lock screen, sorry my lock screen, my desktop screen. And so down here is basically all the apps I have on here right now. And obviously this will change every time when I want to add more or take off some. And But right now this is how I'm keeping it. This desktop background came with the actual laptop itself. I absolutely love it. I didn't see the draft in the background until I put it on. So I'm very happy because if you're new to my channel and you didn't know already, I am obsessed with drafts. So the only document or like folder I have on my desktop right now is my YouTube stuff. But that will obviously change as I, the laptop gets older because I'll add more onto it. So down here are the basic tools. And I it took me a while to find stuff. But the main way I found stuff that I couldn't find... I would just go to the search bar and search it in. So, for example, like iMovie, when it wasn't on the taskbar, I just searched it up, pressed enter, and then it would pop up and open up for me. So, oh, wow, look. So, I've just figured out now that it, if you haven't saved a project or you've opened a project, it will actually, like say, automatically save it. And when you open it up, this is what will happen. So I was just experimenting, seeing if my intro would work, and it does, and it's great. So yeah, I'm just learning the basics of iMovie right now, but I'm excited to use it as my new editing app. And then obviously down here you have the other basics, but yeah, that's basically all for my app. So that's all for this video. I know it was short and it wasn't the best review, but I tried and I really enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye, everyone.